Hello, it's a great day because finally it's here. Lobster Johnson Omnibus Volume 1. I'm a big fan of Hellboy, the whole series, everything about it. And Lobster Johnson has been for me the missing piece of the puzzle because I missed out on the trade paperbacks. I don't buy singles, I usually wait for the trade paperbacks. But because there is so much stuff on the whole Hellboy universe, uh, I ran out of well money and time. And until I got to the Lobster Johnson trade paperbacks, I noticed that already some of them were out of print, which told me that now they are preparing for an omnibus. And now it's here. And I just missed the trade paperback, so I've been waiting for the longest time. I'm also a very big fan of trade paperbacks. I really like that format. Maybe it's because I'm so used to European albums that I like to have stories in a smaller bits. But I don't complain. Like I said, I've been waiting for Lobster Johnson for so long time. I've only seen him on the pages of Hellboy and I haven't read any of the, these stories here. So this is all new to me and I'm kind of... Fear feeling anxious to get into it and reading. This omnibus collects three trade paperbacks plus one short story. And those trade paperbacks are The Burning Hand, Satan Smells a Rat, Get the Lobster. And in, in the trade paperbacks they were not the first volumes, they were volumes two, three and four. There was one before that, which means that they are now publishing the Lobster Johnson stories in uh, chronological order. I think in the Hellboy universe that helps because Mike Mignola has this weird way of writing that when he writes the stories that come out, they're published uh, time-wise. They jump from here to there and back and forth and you don't always get the next story you get is not necessarily the next one in the timeline. It could be much uh, have that something that happened much earlier. It could be something that will happen later. It, it's just when you are reading his trade paperbacks, you have to know that you're not necessarily getting one continuous story. You're gonna have to jump here a bit here and there. But now with the Lobster Johnson, they're going to do um, it chronologically right from the start. And for me, as I haven't read any of it, it's a good thing. The short story added here is called Empty Chair. The last paperback included here, Get the Lobster, those stories were published in 2014. So for me this has been a long wait. It's a great day as I said. The main masterminds behind these stories are of course Mike Mignola and then John Arcudi. Mike Mignola wrote alone the first trade paperback, uh, which is not collected here. And after that, he asked John Arcudi to help him with the storytelling. And without reading any of this, I know it's a good decision because I've seen what he has done with PPRD and Ape Sabian. He just makes um, most of the characters. He's a really good character builder. One of the reasons why I like the series so much. Then Tonji Sonjik as an um, artist, sorry for the pronunciation, no idea how it's spelled uh, or, or, or said. And then there are lots of uh, guest artists. But for me, John R. Goody is maybe the biggest name on this cover for the reason that Mike Mignola isn't uh, doing the art himself. This is a thick book and the art is quite familiar to anyone who has read uh, PPRD and such. So it's clear from the first quick look that this, this will be easy to, easy pill to swallow, so to speak, uh, graphic wise. Lobster Johnson's adventures, they center around 1930s and he fights gangsters, he fights Nazis, you know, the, the usual uh, Mike Minilla stuff. Of course, there are weird things and monsters, always monsters. The book has a list of uh, writers, artists, 
colorists, letterers, cover artists and such. Uh, there's an introduction from Mike Mignola himself talking about uh, how he came up with the whole well name of the Lobster Johnson and how it came about and he hints of uh, in that introduction he hints of what is coming in the later introduction what he's going to reveal there there's a contents page uh, just listing the story names and the whole book starts with the empty chair which is the bonus short story and as is the case with many of these omnibus releases there's a quite hefty bonus section at the back uh, sketchbook which I like I like because these uh, the, the whole Hellboy sketchbooks are usually short there's a picture and then there is certain text that actually reveals a bit more about uh, creation and, and um, I just think that this those small tidbit texts are uh, also entertaining so I, I usually go through in Hellboy I usually go through all the extras also that doesn't always happen but I've learned that these are uh, you get you, you you get to learn a bit more about the universe also just by reading these then there's uh, lots of covers all collected here and also some of their sketches and character studies and one thing though it may be very insignificant to most at the end of most Hellboy trade paperbacks and also in this Omni there's a list of all Hellboy books released so far and I always go through them just to make sure I haven't missed anything the book itself as an item is really well made it has a dust cover and un under the dust cover it has the Lobster Johnson uh, logos the same uh, is at, at the spine you have the main creators Mignola, Arcudi and Zonjik and others listed here it says Omni Omnibus Volume 1 and there will be Volume 2 as there are now uh, three more trade paperbacks to be collected and of course the Dark Horse the back is black the binding is very tight on this the eye of the book is almost non-existent it feels like the pages are growing out of the book and I noticed the same thing in my Ape Sabian omnibus collections they were really tight whereas some of the BBR there were a bit looser but despite being a thick volume this opens easily and I can even see the the whites in the middle so so the gutter loss is quite minimal that was it that was my snapshot quick review of Lobster Johnson Omnibus Volume 1. I don't do a lot of these quick reviews of new books because I am rarely the first one to get them or at least in the first wave and I don't buy books just to get them reviewed here on the channel but this one I had to get right away when it came it was just so important for me but now I have to say bye bye because I need to read this. See you in the next one. Bye. This is a good day because finally it's here. Lobster Johnson Omni 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 oh, Lobster Johnson. It's a good day because finally it's here. Lobster Johnson Omni Om. Oh, sorry.